The show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. I was going to go over all of the more important news first, but I was just looking at this Clash of Champions card for this coming Sunday. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but about three weeks ago, we had two pay-per-views on two successive weeks. SummerSlam, and then Payback a week later. Three weeks later, we have another pay-per-view. And God bless everybody performing on the show, but the booking leading to the show, this lineup. I mean, we got Asuka defending against a manager, Zelina Vega. A Raw women's title match that is on the pre-show. I should tell you everything you need to know about that. We have Roman Reigns versus Jay Uso, one half of the Usos tag team, which is a fun enough storyline, but is there anybody on the planet who thinks that Jay Uso is winning the title from Roman Reigns? And what if he does as a swerve? I mean, I don't know what's going on. Bailey and Nikki Cross, we've seen this match 50 times. Bailey's won every single solitary time. It makes no sense for Nikki Cross to beat Bailey. I mean, you could have Sasha interfere and cost Bailey the title, but then you're going to have Bailey versus Sasha for no title. I mean, maybe that's their feeling that, well, this this feud doesn't need a title. Well, if that's the case, why is Sasha's entire goal to get the belt off of Bailey? I mean, maybe maybe she just wants to get the belt off of her on anybody. I thought she wanted to take it herself. But anyway, that would mean that Nikki would lose for the 85th time if Sasha doesn't cost Bailey the match. We got N- Nia Jax and Shayna versus the Riot Squad. I mean, the Riot Squad, they hated each other forever. They just reunited for, like, no good reason, and now they've got a title shot. We got Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura versus the Lucha House Party. I've seen that match, like, 50 times. And they built this up last week by having Cesaro beat whoever it was, one of them, in a singles match. (laughs) Weak challengers losing in singles matches set up a tag match. We got Jeff Hardy, AJ, and Sami Zayn. Three-way ladder match for the Intercontinental title. I mean, I guess both belts will be hung from the ceiling, but, I mean, who cares? Sami came back claiming he was the champion. They immediately beat him in his first match back on television. Why would I possibly care about this match? I'm sure the match will be good, but I don't care who wins. I mean, they've already killed that. Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel. I've seen that match 50 times. To the point where on Raw last week, they asked the Street Profits who you want to face. The Street Profits themselves said, we don't want to face Andrade and Angel. We've already beaten them multiple times. Well, now they've got to go in there and beat them again. Or Andrade and Angel, who just broke up, will win the tag team titles. That's also an option. And then Lashley and Apollo Crews, a match I've seen 50 times. Like, what is going on here? That's the lineup. Just who cares? A bunch of... Good wrestling matches. That's all you can hope for. It's like when, you know, we talk about shows, UFC shows, and plenty of wrestling shows where the build has been terrible. You're not really even looking forward to anything coming out of it, but you you just hope that the fights are good or that the matches are good. And on paper, some of these are good. Obviously, I'm not saying that Nia and Shayna against the Riot Squad is going to be all that big of a banger or anything like that, but. It's not like Bailey and Nikki Cross have awful matches, even though we've seen it a zillion times. Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton, I'm hoping, is really good. You know, Hardy, the three-way with Hardy, uh, AJ Styles, and Sami Zayn ought to be really good, even if there's probably some stupid finish to it. But, you know, Cesaro Cesaro and, and Shinsuke against the Lucha House Party, that's another one. Does anything really mean, you know, does anything... Do you expect Lucha House Party to win? They've been feuding with each other, too. So it's like, you know, the only thing you can hope for out of a show like this are really good matches. That's the only thing you can hope for match quality wise. Other than that, this is just a show that's being put on so they can ramp up numbers and they can have a bunch of shows like this. They don't care if they sell one pay-per-view. This isn't a pay-per-view. This is a way to draw eyes to the network. So later on with investors, they can go look how many new eyes, look how many original, you know, viewings or whatever the hell it is, all the garbage that they count. That's all in my opinion that these shows are for.